If you want to know how you can make a voice chat only game on Roblox, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make a voice chat only Roblox game. So what I mean with it is that uh, you enable voice chat and once a player joins who do who does not have access to voice chat so uh you got player one which can talk they they got access to voice chat but player two doesn't player two will get kicked from the game because they do not have access to voice chat yet they have to verify themselves first in order to get access to voice chat so that's what we're going to be doing today and uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so without further ado let's start so it's actually pretty simple, but you just really need to know what you're doing. So first of all, go to game settings and I need to publish my game. So give me a second. And I just published my game. And now if I go to game settings and I go to, I think it's options and I go to options, you can um, enable spatial voice, which is voice chat, but it's actually spatial voice. So just tick it on and click save. And now, Spatial voice is enabled for your game, but you have to put the maximum player capacity or maximum player count to 30 or else this this will not work because there is a minimum or a, a maximum of 30 players uh, for uh, spatial voice. So you just want to go to here, edit and change this to 30. Click save. Alrighty, so that is uh, everything for enabling spatial voice. So what you've just done is you've cre uh, you've um, enabled spatial voice, which allows, as you can see, enabling spatial voice allows voice eligible users to use voice chat within your experience. And if you would go to places, we just set it to 30 players maximum, uh, or else you will get a um, you'll get an error message and nobody will be able to use uh, voice chat, uh, no matter if they are eligible or non eligible. So that is everything for uh, for the voice thingies. So now you need for the kicking thingy, you have to make a remote event in replicated storage. So click remote event. You can just name it kick player because all it does is pass a f or an argument to the server, which uh, kicks, the, kicks the player. So you want to go to, I think it's starter GUI. And you just want to make a local script and you want to create a script in server script service so let's do this one first because this one is really easy so all we have to do is local kick player is the game click get service replicated storage dot kick player so what we're doing we're requesting the replicated storage service and then dot kick player is this remote event right over here so now uh, we're going to be trying to get it received. So kick player dot on server event, colon connect function. And uh, we're going to do player because that is going to be our argument. And we could just do player colon kick. You are not eligible, eligible for spatial voice like that. So um, we're going to be sending the remote event from this script over here. And over here, we're catching it or receiving it. And we're kicking the player because they are not eligible for spatial voice. And you have to be eligible. So now for the local script, it's pretty easy. Local voice chat service. I've never heard of the service before till today. And it is so amazing. So local voice chat service is the game. Call and get service. Voice chat service. And not uh, internal, but service. Now we can do. Uh, let me see over here. Local players. This is the game. Come on, get service. Players, and over here we are requesting the voice chat service, and over here we are requesting the players service. And over here we can do local player, because a single player is going to be players. That local player, which is uh, the player we are playing on. So if if I would go play here, this is the local player. So now we can check if if you have voice chat. 
and we're going to be using is voice enabled for user id async and that is a long word so you want to type if voice chat service colon and maybe we could even find it let's see if we can find it yep this one is voice enabled for user id async and we will let roblox check your user id um for spatial voice and if you don't have it we will be firing a remote event so we have to do player the user id because it's checking on your user id so we have to provide a user id and a player and now we, d we can do equals equals to false then so over here we're like checking does the player have voice chat or um if the player does not have voice chat then we're going to be firing the remote event so over here we're going to be doing local replicated storage or actually local kick player is the game click get surface let's see uh, replicated storage that kick player so as i said over here we are requesting the replicated storage and we are providing it with kick player so as i said we're over here if you don't have voice chat then we will fire a remote event so to fire that remote event we can do a kick player colon fire server and you have to, you can leave it empty because uh, how roblox works if you send a remote event from the client to the server the server will automatically put the, put its first argument as the player it, it just works like that it's really confusing i've made a lot of scripting errors from it but the first argument on the server is always the player so if you would name it argument or something, because like if argument is equals equals to blah blah, it will be defined as the player. It is really confusing, as I said. You just have to know. It's just a basic uh, knowledge. So if I would click play, I would immediately get kicked from the game. That is because uh, I did not verify myself for spatial voice. As you can see, you are not eligible for spatial voice. And I just got a mail. What do you want? Okay, nothing interesting. So let's see, if you would set it to true, so we're checking if you have voice chat. And if you do, we're gonna be kicking you, even though that's, that is not, um, like, that is not logical, but it's just for testing purposes. So we're checking if you have voice chat, and I don't have it, so we're, I'm not gonna get kicked. As you can see, I can play the game. No errors, and this is how it works. So I'm gonna be putting it back to false, because we want to kick players who don't have uh, access to spatial voice so if i would click play i would get kicked because this is a voice chat only game so only people with voice chat can join this game and play it and that is what everyone wants you know so um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did give a like subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell to never miss out on any video like every youtuber says and all i can say is that my name is Doobie, and i say peace out